那个是我们的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国家的国
But I feel biological factor. We have, we already equipped warm-heartedness or sense of responsibility, sense of community, biological factor. There, because we are social animal. So that I usually call uh, secular ethics, a basis of our happy life or inner peace. So that also, the way to promote that, uh, is generally, I'm emphasizing through secular ways, through secular method. That means use our common sense and common experience and the latest scientific findings. Even our physical well-being, peace of mind, it's very, very essential. Now, my sort of small experience recently, I went through surgery, gallbladder, remove gallbladder. So actually, uh, unlike my previous visit here, same face, but one organ now missing. <laughs> <laughs> but OK, seems OK, uh, quite fit. <laughs> uh, so you see, during, during surgery and also after surgery, quite, quite serious sort of, sort of complication. Uh, usually, you see, the, this kind of so, so remove is the gallbladder. You see, take 15, 20 minutes. But in my case, three hours because of complication. But however, after the surgery, within uh, one week, fully recover. So then the doctor also is a little bit surprised. So then I told them, oh, I have nothing special. No miracle power, <laughs> no sort of healing power. Uh, if I have miracle power or healing power, the first place I, I will not uh, surgery. <laughs> uh, uh, the, 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 the very sort of, you know, the fact, uh, go through surgery means I have no such miracle power, <laughs> isn't it? But I think, you see, peace of mind, uh, I think really uh, one factor for uh, speeded recovery. But th so, so this is my number one commitment, uh, promotion of uh, uh, human value. Then number two, uh, the promotion of religious harmony. In that respect, I mean, for peace of mind, all major religion have the message how to develop inner peace. When, particularly when we're passing through difficult situation or hopelessness sort of situation, the faith provides us inner strength. So all major tradition, basically two categories, one theistic religion, one non-theistic religion. Buddhism belongs non-theistic religion. Buddhism and Jainism, both in Indian sort of, I say, uh, ancient religion. Uh, so there is different sort of philosophy, different way of approach, but ultimately same message, same practice, practice of love, compassion, forgiveness, and contentment, and self-discipline. So therefore, uh, all major religious tradition, same potential, and uh, different location, different people, with different mental disposition, we need different way of approach. So, theistic philosophy, non-theistic philosophy, develop. So it doesn't matter, these method, these philosophy, but the important is the real purpose or real message. So in that respect, all major religion, tradition, uh, is the same, carries the same message, same practice, and the same effect. So harmony among the different religious traditions is very, very uh, 
possible. And now, not only in past history, but even today, sometimes some conflict in the name of religion also uh, uh, happening. So therefore, now we need a special effort for a promotion uh, of religious harmony. Uh, maybe maybe uh, irrelevant, but here you see many uh, many parliament members, you see many females. Uh, so I one one my sort of uh, uh, sort of what they believe or my view. Uh, I'm not saying this for appeasement for female. <laughs> uh, uh, I feel. In human history, in early, early period, no concept of leader. All family member work together, all community member work together, hunting or collecting some fruits or like that, uh, and share equally. Eventually, population increase. Uh, then the stealing or bullying, these things happen. So then concept of leadership is to come. At that time, brain not much important. Important is physical strength, like other animals. So therefore, the male dominance eventually, I think, develop. Uh, then eventually, education, through education, the brain development take place and the brain are more important than physical strength. So then male and female more or less equal way. Uh, therefore now here many members uh, are female. Uh, oh yeah, uh, some are rather beautiful. <laughs> Uh, so, so therefore, now, uh, <laughs> now, you so you know, you see, a century or time, we need, as I mentioned earlier, the promotion of human compassion, human love, warm-heartedness. In that respect, I think because the biological factor, female have more feeling of sensitivity about others' pain. Do you agree? Yes. I think I should ask male. <laughs> uh, no, not, not a female. <laughs> I feel that one small, oh, no, not much time, not much time. No, uh, Oh, one, one short story, one short story. The one time long flight uh, from, from India to other country, eight hours, nine hours like that. So night flight. So I noticed one couple with two baby, one I think six, seven years old, one very small. So the whole night, that young one uh, really creates trouble to their parent. And then early period, the father also, you see, take care uh, that young boy, the young boy or young girl. Uh, then after two, three hours, then father just slept. But mother, whole night, uh, always pay attention about that children. I should see that naughty children. Always you see pay. Fullest care. And then next morning, I notice, you see, the mother's eye become red. This is one example. Female, more sensitivity of others' pain. So therefore, at a time, we need not only smart brain or uh, ideas, but also we need warm-heartedness. Now, such period, I think women, female, I feel, have some special role. Therefore, uh, I'm very happy 
seeing here, and many female. So many occasions I expressed this. So I just wanted to to, uh, to share this. Mm. Now, uh, now the Tibetan issue. Uh, now the Tibetan issue. Basically, you see, to some Chinese officials, that our approach, uh, they consider something splitist movement. It's actually no, not. It's totally wrong. Everybody knows we are seeking genuine autonomy within the People's Republic of China. For our own interest, Tibet backward, materially, of course, spiritually advanced, so that, in the meantime, every Tibetan wants modernized Tibet. So therefore, as far as material uh, development is concerned, it is our own interest remain within the big nation, people's part of China. So, so firstly, I want to make very clear so our approach is not separatist movement. Very clear. Certain sort of right we, uh, today, uh, today, we, we request, we ask Chinese officials, actually already guaranteed or mentioned in their constitution, as well as their certain uh, the, uh, the right of the so-called minority. So then, another point I want to make clear, our supporters, when you showing your support, your concern about Tibet issue, uh, some Chinese feel this is something against China. This is totally wrong. Actually, we are trying to make a contribution regarding promotion of so harmonious society, stability, unity. Obviously, if you use common sense, common experience, how can develop unity, harmony under fear? under gun. Illogical. Genuine harmony, unity, only come through trust, through mutual respect. <laughs> so therefore, so then also I think one example. Since we not seeking independence, and that also through strictly non-violent principle. Therefore, some Xinjiang friend who also, you see, fighting for their right. Because our approach more attractive to some Sh Xinjiang people. Uh, now, I can't remember the individual name. Many years ago, you see, I met you see, some Xinjiang people. They really, you see, fight for independence and even if necessary, use violence. That's their sort of view. <laughs> then I told these people, as far as we Tibetan is concerned, we are not seeking separation. And also strictly non-violent way. And eventually more Xinjiang people now agree. Our approach is the realistic and best way of approach. So therefore, our sort of approach actually give more encouragement to those people uh, who once little violent way, th thinking violent way. So therefore, these are proof. Uh, we are helping to build healthy, uh, uh, harmonious. Uh, harmonious society. So our supporters, uh, we are not against the Chinese, uh, China, or the, Ch uh, the Chinese government. Actually, you are helping. Then, obviously, 
the totalitarian regimes. Uh, there are many drawbacks there. And then close society, no freedom of speech, no fr fr freedom of press. Then you see some difficulties, you see, always is happen. Then as there is dependent saying, if you are true close friend, then make clear the faults of your friend. So like European Union, naturally, you see, very, very important to keep close relations with, with people from China. At the same time, those drawbacks were, those drawbacks, those mistakes should make clear. So now, not much time. Uh, then also, you see, I, yesterday, I, uh, I met with some of our uh, Tibetan support groups or, or the, from the parliament member. So they asked, I mean, they t told me uh, they, I say, I said they, they're going to take uh, 24 hours fasting. So some, some people who practice that, very good, very good, very good, very good. Hmm? So I very much appreciate that. So I immediately responded, we also going to fast. So but my case, uh, the, as a Buddhist monk, no, uh, after lunch, no meal. So I thought better, uh, the practical way, it is better my fasting start from after my breakfast. <laughs> so this morning, uh, you, in, you start, I think, midnight. So I start my, uh, my fasting uh, after my uh, breakfast. Uh, as a Buddhist monk, breakfast is something very sacred. <laughs> Because I have, you see, I always you see when I uh, wake up, I always feel hungry. So, so therefore, I took my breakfast. Now, till tomorrow breakfast, I'm taking fasting. As it, I mean, because of the first day, join, join, or sharing with your determination. Thank you very much.